Hey everybody, this is Michelle Baker, and I'm going to show you how to make a custom die cut sticker that has this contour cut around your words. Okay, for, so for this um, sticker, I have put this red line around it because it sits on this white artboard, but I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, the shape that I actually have here is um, the contour cut that I want around the words. So how do you get this shape? Let me show you. I'm gonna take my uh, text over here and just make an extra copy. And this is what we'll be working with over here. Okay, so by now you've probably already created outlines for your font, but if you haven't, I'll show you how. So if this was my font that I had used over here, and the word was be still. I'm gonna to need to create outlines for this first before I can make this shape over here. So you go up to type and down to create outlines. And then what you have is you actually have anchor points around all of the typeface. Let me zoom in so you can see. So now you've got anchor points and you can manipulate um, this typeface to do all kinds of things um, and make it unique, make it a shape. So I'm just playing around with the anchor points, kind of showing you um, what you can do. You can do anything once you once they're all anchor points. So you just you can take the anchor points and just manipulate them and, and make them into something. This could be a crown or just anything that you wanted to do. So I'm going to delete this because I've already created outlines on the text that I'm working with here. All right. Once you've created outlines, you just take your selection tool, this black triangle here in the left corner, and click and drag this imaginary box over everything that you want to offset the path for. And that's what we're going to do. We are going to go up to object and down to path and offset path. And so I'm going to click offset path and it creates this shape um, that's a quarter inch bigger around all of the words. And so right now it's blue. I'm going to turn it white eventually. Um, and then you have these options to give it round edges, mitered sharp edges or beveled edges. And I chose round because I like this bubbly look for this sticker. And just click OK. OK, so my text is sitting there underneath this shape. Um, and what I want to do is I want to select this shape that's on top and ask Pathfinder to unite all of the text together now. So I'm going to go to Window and alphabetically down to the word Pathfinder to pull up my Pathfinder box. And I want to unite everything that I've selected down below. So I'm going to click Unite. And it doesn't have a color. So I'm going to go up to White. And now I see these holes. These are real easy to get rid of. You can take this magnifying glass and zoom in. And if you click right where you want to zoom in, you can see it. Okay, so for these three holes, all I have to do is get the direct selection tool and click on one anchor. When, when you see it kind of get bigger, that means you're on it. So click once, hit the delete button twice. All right, click when the white anchor lights up, you're on it. Click once, delete twice. It gets rid of the whole, um, the entire hole. Okay, and now I can zoom back out with that same magnifying glass by hitting the option button and I see a delete button and I can zoom back out. But before I do, I see one more little hole right here. So I want to come over here with the direct selection tool and click once and delete twice. All right, and now it's time to zoom back out. There's my shape. And if you want to line them up perfectly with your letters, you can highlight all your, your words, group them together by hitting Command G. And now I can select both groups 
by just clicking out in the gray area with my direct selection tool and putting that box over both items. And now I'm going to ask it to align. I'm going up to align. If you can't find align, you can go to window and down to the word align and it'll give you your box. I also see it up here in my toolbar. I want to align. Let's look up here. Align to selection. Um, I want to align it to the artboard. And I want it to center up in the artboard. So I'm going to ask it to horizontally align to the center of the artboard and vertically align to the center of the artboard. Now, the reason we can't see the words is because it's behind the object. So that's easy to fix. You can right click and go down to arrange and ask it to uh, send the send the object to the back. So I'm just click on just the object, the shape, right click, arrange, send to the back. And there's the sticker. And you can group it together. And if you take it off the whiteboard, you can see exactly what it's gonna look like. when you have it cut out. All right, thanks for watching.